And there's the second umbilical separating that signifies about 30 seconds or so from launch. You can see the engine starting to ramp up. Engine. The engine's firing, now building up to flight speed and liftoff. Jack Fisher and Fyodor Yurchikin on their way to the International Space Station. Vehicles clear the tower, getting good first stage performance. That's so used to delivering about 930,000 pounds of thrust from those four strap-on engines in the core. Getting good performance calls, nominal or normal so far for the first stage, continuing to operate well. Again, a pretty clear day there in Baikonur, so getting great views of the rocket as it flies across the Kazakh sky. So already 70 seconds since liftoff, the vehicle already moving at over 1,100 miles an hour. And continuing to get those good performance calls, you'll hear yaw, pitch, and roll, basically the uh, orientation of the rocket, want to hear nominal, and that's what we're hearing. Everything going well with the Soyuz so far. On board, you can see uh, the crew members still doing well. Again, if you go to your cheek in on the bottom there, and then Jack NASA's Jack Fisher on the top. And we've gotten confirmation that the escape tower has been jettisoned and the first stage has been jettisoned. Again, those four strap-on boosters have completed their job, dropped away. The vehicle already in an altitude of about 28 statute miles, so use rocket traveling at about 3,350 miles an hour. Thumbs up from Jack Fisher. Everything continuing to go great so far with this launch. The vehicle under the power now of the core stage or the second stage, and that's going to continue to fire until about four minutes and 48 seconds into the flight. Uh, so another two minutes and change from now. Second stage, thrusters are operating nominally. Getting confirmation the launch shroud has been jettisoned, so the Soyuz vehicle now exposed. Everything going right per the timeline so far with today's launch. Second stage continuing to perform great uh, from all the reports coming in. Just past the three minute mark since liftoff. At this point, the Soyuz already traveling over 4,700 miles per hour. And we have the control to. You can see sunlight pouring in now from a, a window just over Jack Fisher's shoulder. That now possible with that launch shroud being jettisoned. Second stage thrusters are operating. Everything performing as expected. That core stage of the Soyuz, 56 feet in length, 13 and a half in diameter, has a single engine with four fuel chambers and provides between 178,000 and 222,000 pounds of thrust, depending on the altitude of the vehicle. And it burns for about 3 minutes and 28 seconds. It's going to burn until the 4 minute 43 second mark, and then it'll use uh, what's known as a hot stage technique. So the third stage will actually ignite while the second's still burning. That's why, again, the Soyuz rocket has that open lattice-like structure in between the second and third stages, and we'll be seeing that shortly. Continuing to get good calls, 4 minutes, 12 seconds in counting since liftoff. Two hundred and sixty seconds. Parameters are nominal. Two hundred and seventy seconds. Standing by for Deca two. Boom. 
Just got confirmation. The second stage separated from the Soyuz rocket. The third stage firing. We have separation of the second stage. Yes, we confirm. And confirmation the third stage engine has ignited and now powering the Soyuz into its preliminary orbit. That core booster separates at an altitude of about 105 miles. And the Soyuz now propelled by the single engine of the Soyuz's third stage, providing about 67,000 pounds of thrust, and it's going to burn for the next four minutes and two seconds. Three hundred and thirty seconds. Third stage thrusters operating nominally. Three hundred and sixty seconds. YPR normal. SR pressure is seven hundred and eighty two. The crew is feeling good. Copy. Getting reports the crew feeling good. Six minutes, thirty seconds since liftoff. Everything continuing to go great again. The Soyuz's third stage now powering it. 390 seconds. It's going to continue to operate until 8 minutes and 45 seconds post liftoff. So another two minutes uh, under the third stage. And then the rocket's job will be done and the spacecraft will be in its preliminary orbit. Four hundred and thirty seconds. Third stage thruster operating nominally. Again, all the calls, everything going well so far with this morning's launch. Keep your eye on the dog floating just in front of Fyodor Yurchikin again. That's going to be our zero-G indicator. So once they're in their preliminary orbit and they start experiencing microgravity, you'll see that start to float, just like everything else inside the vehicle, including the crew members themselves will shortly. We're seven hours, 54 minutes since launch. Vehicle traveling in excess of 13,500 miles an hour. And again, as a reminder, once they are delivered into orbit, a series of commands that are pre-programmed will execute, and all of the antennas uh, will deploy along with the solar arrays. Stabilization, nominal. Third stage should be cutting off in just about 25 seconds. Five hundred and ten seconds. Everything is nominal. And with the telltale jolt, you can see the third stage has cut off and separated. There's a great view of that dog. You can see it's floating now, so the crew members now exposed to that microgravity environment. With the third stage shut down and dropping it away, they're at an altitude of about 125 statute miles. Yes, we read you loud and clear, Moscow. And we have third stage separation.